today we're doing a reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. It's just a general tarot reading about you and the person that you came to hear the reading about. And so I went ahead and pulled a tarot card to start with for why the whole reading is going down. And you got the Eight of Cups in reverse. So basically that's the energy of you could have already walked away from this person or they could have already walked away from you. But either one or both of you are still holding on to this connection energetically. Like if this connection is a ball of energy, both people are still holding on to it or at least one person in the connection. And if you're coming to watch the reading, then you're probably having trouble releasing the person if you're trying to figure out about them or anything like that. But basically, we're just going to get three cards for the one. The first card is going to be the person on your mind. The next card is going to be their future actions. And the third card is going to be their feelings. And then we're just going to pull from there. We're going to do uprights and reversals. And it's just a general reading, so it could resonate or not. And you can flip the rolls if it fits better. As like if you're cross watching or whatever, you can swap the rolls around because it's just energy. So give me three cards for Scorpio and the person on their mind. The Ten of Cups is the person on your mind. And it's upright. The person's future actions is the Five of Pentacles reversed. And their feelings is the Hermit reversed. All right, so this person at one point in time could have brought you a lot of happiness or you see this person as this person can make you happy. You feel like this person has, this connection has the potential to bring you a lot of happiness. It could be someone that you've already had a family with or someone that you wanted a commitment with that you didn't have a family with yet, but you wanted that or you could see that you had a vision of that. The future actions of this person is showing up as the five of pentacles reversed. For some reason, I'm feeling like this is the energy of, yes, they will be back around, but with it being the Five of Pentacles card, even reversed, it's still the Five of Pentacles, okay? So this person has tendencies to leave you feeling out in the cold emotionally at times, and then it's like they want to come in and soothe that, but then they turn around and do it again. Because Five of Pentacles is Five of Pentacles, whether it's upright or reversed, the energy came out on the card for some reason. So, this is the energy of leaving someone out in the cold. And soothing that is the way I'm feeling that for some reason. That's just what's coming to my mind. This is the energy of, like, I'm going to soothe leaving Scorpio out in the cold. I'm going to come back around. But then, what do they do? They leave you out in the cold again. So, it's, it's, a, it's a cycle, pretty much going back and forth and then that gets you where it's hard for you to release this person or you're going through trying to release this person currently i believe you've already walked away from them physically and you're trying to release the energy of the connection pretty much their feelings right now regarding this connection it's like with the hermit reverse they don't want to look at their feelings they've been sitting with their feelings on this connection and I believe they have a lot of feelings for this connection or for you as a person. And so now they're in that energy of keeping themselves busy so they don't have to look within themselves because it's, it's reversed. So this is looking within yourself. And this is keeping yourself busy to prevent your mind from even thinking of the connection. So in other words, just as soon as they get still and get quiet, this connection hits their mind, in other words. And they're doing everything they can to avoid thinking of it. But it says their future actions is the Five of Pentacles reversed. That's that cycle energy, wanting to come back around and soothe the fact that they left you abandoned emotionally, but then they will come back and do that again. Okay, so let's clarify this Five of Pentacles reversed before I keep going. I want to clarify the Five of Pentacles reversed. The Fool card. I feel like they're going to come back around wanting a new beginning with you. With the Fool card being there, clarifying the Five of Pentacles reversed. That's their actions, taking a leap of faith, trying to get you to give them another chance. What is the problem between Scorpio and this person in general? Give me a card for the problem between Scorpio and this person. Three of Pentacles reversed. So you and them don't make a very good team as far as like a teamwork in a connection. 
you and them don't see eye to eye on what a team should look like or be like. You can't build together very well and make a solid foundation with each other. Maybe you don't communicate in the same love language. Whatever it is, the results is, is just energy, but the results of this energy is not being a very good team together. That's the problem. You and them aren't good team members in the connection. So that makes a very shaky foundation. The foundation is not ever built in a solid way. So as far as this connection goes, there could have never really been a solid foundation laid in this connection. Whether the feelings were there, it doesn't matter. Pinnacles is earth energy. So in the 3D, it's the, it's the, the 3D things that the actual tangible, solid, committed energy is not there. There's emotions there. A lot of emotions with the Ten of Cups being there. So there's a lot of emotions there. There's an energetic bond pretty much there, but there's no tangible 3D teamwork going on to build this thing because it takes work for a connection to be successful even if the emotions are there. How does Scorpio feel about this person? The Knight of Wands. So you could feel like this person is not very dependable as far as this connection goes you feel like they're here one day and gone the next you feel like they have a lot of passion towards you but it's like as quick as it comes in it goes out the knight of wands energy is someone that's like in the energy of like a 14 or 15 year old you know whenever they have an idea about a new idea they want to pursue like just say after school they want to start a new hobby and then they let it go just as fast as they got into it and their parents spent $500 for them to start the hobby. I'm just giving you the energy of how you feel this person is. So this is how you feel about this person, that they kind of are fly by the seat of their pants. You can't really depend on them. The solid foundation, it goes back to that. So there's passion and emotion here, but no grounded solidity in this connection. What are Scorpio's future actions towards this connection? What is Scorpio's future actions towards this connection for one card? I'm trying to get one to flip out here. Scorpio, uh-oh, three of cups. So honestly, this feels like the energy of not taking this connection very seriously, but this is also the energy of reconciliation, allowing this person to come back in if they try to do so. And the Three of Cups is falling right here directly on this Three of Pentacles reversed. So there could be another person in this connection that gets between y'all. It does not have to be like another boyfriend or girlfriend type thing, but it's just another energy. It could be this person's job. Example, if they put all their energy into their work and they travel for work, well, they can't make a solid foundation with you. That's just an example. But I do feel like this is the energy saying that your actions are, you're not really going to take action directly towards this connection, but if this person makes it an attempt, even though they don't have a solid foundation about them, and you don't do anything to change your energy on this timeline, because you can always do that, but if you don't, the default timeline is saying that you will allow the reconciliation energy to take place. If they make an effort to do so, you're going to allow it to come in with that Three of Cups being there. What is the outcome going into August for this connection? The Page of Wands, so this is, a, this is a communication card, but it's just like this energy here. It's just a step lower, but this goes together really well. Now, if you, I said the outcome going into August was the King of Wands, that would be more action taking to get a solid grounded foundation. But I feel like the energy going into August is that, whoa, uh -oh, the temperance reversed, that's not stable energy. So I'm going to say that clarifies this outcome going into August because I wasn't pulling anything else at the time the card flipped. So this is unstable energy. So this connection will remain unstable going through August as long as each person doesn't do anything to change their energy. So just know that. So if this person does communicate and you're wanting something solid and grounded and stable, then make that conscious decision to not allow them back in if this is your reading and this is the person i'm describing here you don't need this person so how does this person see scorpio 
Give me a card for how this person sees Scorpio. How does this person see Scorpio? One card, the Five of Swords reversed. They feel like in the past you've been very um, argumentative or conflict, willing to do anything to win the war, the battle, even if you have to lose the war energy, but that you're trying, you're tired of it. You're tired of the drama. You're tired of the conflict. And so you're trying to release this just to get out of the conflict of it. That's pretty much how they see you as far as like, you don't want the drama anymore, the conflict. So you're releasing that. Like, being a fixed sign, we will fight to the death. I'm a Scorpio, too. We will fight to the death for our say, for our way. But once we let it go, we're, we're fixed. We let it go. So, I really do feel like you're in the, in the middle of letting this person go as far as, like, energetically. You are working on releasing this person. And just know if you are, that is the perfect place to be. Because this card can look kind of dark when you look at it. This person going on this path down the dark path of the Eight of Cups. But as you're releasing this, I know this is like not wanting to walk away. But I feel like you're working on doing this. I feel like you're in the midst of working on that now. And just know that whenever you go on this dark path, you come upon the Nine of Cups. Which is the perfect place to be to attract your Tenth Cup. And I feel like with this connection, I feel like the emotions are there. If both people were in the correct place energetically for this to happen, the emotions would be there. You're a Scorpio. The emotions are always there. So, how does Scorpio see this person? Give me a card for how Scorpio sees this person. So, this person knows you're getting sick of their shit, basically. You're, you're willing to release this to get rid of the shit. All right. So, Scorpio sees this person as the Seven of Swords. So you feel like this person has deceived you, lied to you, even if it even if it isn't now, but in the past, so you don't trust this person basically. The trust between you and this person has been broken because they haven't been dependable and stable and grounded. So I believe if this is the way you see this person, Scorpio, then you know you don't need this person. You need someone that can match you and become grounded and be a good teamwork person. The problem here with the not working as a very good team, that tells me that you need someone better. Okay, Scorpio, that's been your reading. Thank you so much for watching.